Laura has a mug. Dean has a mug. These days, it seems everyone owns a mug. If you are considering acquiring a mug, or if you have always wanted a mug of your own, you should know there are a few simple yet common sense rules that will ensure many years of safe and successful mug ownership. The Unemployed Philosophers Guild cares. That is why we created a mnemonic device to help you remember the rules of proper mug usage. When you think mugs, think P-A-K-E. Pake. Place your mug on a flat surface. Mugs obey the rules of gravity. Therefore, it is imperative your mug be placed on a level surface in order to ensure liquid remains inside after pouring. Ah, ah, ah. That's better. A side-to-surface angle of 90 degrees is an excellent start for any mug encounter. Achieve control. The handle is meant as a tool to stabilize the mug and the liquid inside. Know the correct side for pouring. Only one side of the mug is designed for capturing liquid. Carefully examine your mug. Is it flat at the top or is it open, exposing an empty chasm inside? Try this experiment. Place your hand on top of the mug. If your hand can actually enter inside the mug, as liquid might, then your mug is facing the right direction. Enjoy your mug experience. If you cannot enjoy a mug, what business have you owning one? Smile as you take that drink. There you have it. P-A-K-E. Pake. As a new mug user, you may have some questions about your mug. Is it safe to use both hot and cold liquids in my mug? Yes. May I use my mug to hold or store ingots or other small metal objects? No. So remember, the next time you reach for that mug, employ the simple mnemonic device P-A-K-E. E. Bake, and you will enjoy mugs for years to come. <laughs>